What's going on YouTube? You got yourself a brand new iPhone 14 Pro and you want to keep it looking fresh and clean for the long term. A case is going to help you do that. And Spigen's one of these top case manufacturers that's been in the game for a super long time. So they know what's up when it comes to protection. I have a lot more case reviews coming up for the iPhone 14 Pro. So check my playlist down below or hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe and that bell icon so you don't miss any of my case reviews. But it's time to get into it. Let's check out the iPhone 14 Pro Spigen case lineup together. We're gonna check out a whole bunch of cases from Spigen guys and I got these from Amazon. I'll throw the links down in my description because prices always change so definitely check my links if you want the most up-to-date and relevant pricing. But we got some clear cases, some light cases, some medium duty, some heavy duty. We got a whole bunch of cases but let's start with this one pretty cool case in my opinion. This is their cryo armor. What I like about the cryo armor personally and it is a semi-flexible case so it's not a hard shell case but I like the, the cool blue look and that's the whole point of the cryo armor is it's intended to keep your device a little bit cooler than other cases. You have these vents in here that are gonna help get rid of that heat when you're doing a lot of gaming, when you do a lot of texting, when you're doing anything that's gonna generate a lot of heat. And you can see the, you can see the material on the inside of the case here. This is what's gonna help push that heat away. So of course, installation is really simple guys. Let's just go ahead and install that. And I do have a screen protector installed on my iPhone 14 Pro, so this is gonna, it's gonna give you a little bit of a screen protector test as well. Hopefully none of these cases get rid of my screen protector. But you can see the design. I like the design of the cryo case. It just looks really, really nice. I like the blue, I like the feel. You can just see all these little hexagons here, so it's a nice, nice design overall. And taking a look at the camera protection, your camera definitely is protected with this cryo armor. No doubt about that. And your cutouts are all perfect, of course. Now the buttons feel really nice and just overall the case feels really nice along with these grooves that are on the side so that helps with the grippability of this case as well. Definitely definitely a nice grippable case. Once again you do have some air cushion technology in all of these Spigen cases so on all of the four corners you get a little bit extra a little bit extra cushioning and who doesn't like a little bit extra cushioning and taking a look at the front lip protection. This is what I would call probably a more of a lighter duty type of case. You're not getting a huge amount of front lip protection as I give you this 360 bird's eye tour, but it is enough, especially if you have a screen protector, that if you lay your phone flat on the table, it still is gonna protect it, regardless if you have the screen protector or not. It's just a little bit of protection. Just take a look at that. And of course, your slider works without any problems. Now, of course, not every case is MagSafe compatible, but I'm just gonna do a little test. This is not MagSafe compatible. I wasn't really expecting it to be, but I just wanted to show you guys that. So once again, take a look at the cryo, and I think that blue looks super, super cool. I think this is a really nice case, guys. Definitely, definitely high up on my list. Now, speaking of high on my list, I always want wireless charging to work. So you can see wireless charging works without any problem. This happens to be a MagSafe wireless charging pack. So I'm just gonna, just gonna test out wireless charging on all of these cases. In terms of the fit, Pretty snug on all four corners. This isn't popping off. So, so nice, nice job with the fit as well. So this is the cryo armor. Let's keep it moving and take out another armor case. And this has been a, this has been a staple of mine for a very, very long time. This is the tough armor case and it is a two part, two part case. So you have that hard polycarbonate shell on the outside. And then you also have a nice little soft TPU material on the inside, but you never really have to take these cases apart. It's just kind of, just kind of the way that it's designed. Now taking a look on the inside, some little shock absorbing material on the inside there. And of course, you get a little air cushion technology on all the four corners. That's what Spigen is known for. That's definitely their branding these days with that air cushion technology. So let's just go ahead and install this case and see what it looks like. You can see the lip protection, just, just about the same as the cryo, if I'm quite honest with you, as we take a look at this bird's eye view. But it is a little bit of more of a tougher, tougher duty case, just because of this hard shell on the back. And it also gives you a little bit more protection. It's not as it's not as light duty as the cryo. So on the sides, you have a little branding there that says tough armor. And you also have the power, power indicator button right over here. And on the other side, here's your plus and minus buttons for the volume rocker. Now, one thing I'd, I've always recommended for Spigen is just give us a little bit more of a differentiating feel to the plus and the minus. When you pull this out of your pocket, it's kind of kind of hard to figure out which is the plus and which is the minus. You you have to think about it. So maybe add some ridges on one of them would have been my would have been my recommendation. But Tough Armor's been been this way for quite a number of years, so I don't expect them to change. Hopefully one day. And taking a look at all your cutouts, all of your cutouts are perfect. No problems with those cutouts. Now the back camera protection. 
You can see your camera is well protected. No problems with that camera protection. I think they did a nice job with the tough armor and it also comes in different colors as well. In terms of the tough armor snugness, very, very snug. So no problems with the tough armor. But the number one thing I like about the tough armor is this built-in kickstand. Because when you're out and about, maybe you're just at the coffee shop and you want to catch up on the latest JabberTech YouTube videos, having a kickstand is going to help you do that. You don't have to tire out your hand by holding your phone. So the built-in kickstand is something that I personally really enjoy. Let's check out MagSafe. This actually is MagSafe compatible. So you can see that battery pack is pretty snug on this, on this tough armor case. And if we check out wireless charging as well, Wireless charging is working, no problems at all. So the Tough Armor so far is checking a lot of boxes for me. Let me know what you think about all these cases down below. But I'm liking the Tough Armor case. It is, it is, it is a nice feeling case as well. So Spigen, Spigen definitely does a nice job when it comes to their case lineup. Now the next case we're going to take a look at is a Thin Fit case. Once again, this is thin. It's going to be for those minimalists out there that just want a, a little bit of protection. Maybe you baby your phones, but you just don't want to scratch it up. So the Thin Fit is going to let you guys do that. On the inside, you get a little Spigen Authenticity sticker on all of these cases. And of course, you get that air cushion technology on the inside there. Air is all around us, so that technology is pretty prevalent. And on the back, you can see that camera cutout. Now it is a little bit flexible, so let's go ahead and install it. This is the thin fit, so you can check out the bird's eye view for that front lip protection. All of these cases give you a little bit of raised, raisivity, raised lip protection, so you definitely are protecting that screen if you lay it face down on a table or at a bar. And of course, your camera protection, on point with that camera protection. For a thin fit case, I think they're giving you a nice amount of protection. And I'm really digging this two-toned action. I think Spigen did a nice job giving us a two-toned case. Let me know what you think about that two-tonedness. I think it looks really, really sweet. Cutouts, of course, are all perfect. Buttons feel super nice on all of these cases. No problems with the buttons. And you do have a little separation here, unlike on the Tough Armor. Just kind of helps you with the... With, with the figuring out of which is the plus and which is the minus. So once again, this is a thin fit. Now let's check out MagSafe. Not really MagSafe compatible, guys. That's falling off, but I'm sure wireless charging is gonna work. Wireless charging seems to be working, no problems. Just not MagSafe compatible. This is a thin fit. Let me know what you think about the thin fit. I think it feels really nice as well. I'm, I like the feel of this case. You get kind of like a soft, soft matte TPU feel on the top here and then you have this this shiny shiny kind of plastic back so it's a nice 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 mixture of materials in my opinion this feels really really nice in the hand and in terms of snugness I expect nothing less from Spigen super super snug so no problems with the snugness of the thin fit let's keep it moving now we got a rugged armor case this is another minimalist type of case something that I've been using for quite a number of years as well just like the Tough Armor, you have this material on the inside that's going to help, help disperse that shock if you happen to drop it. And you can see that's in all four corners as well. And I just like the look of the two-tone, like the yellow and the black. It looks really, really nice, along with the Spigen seal of authenticity. On the other side, a little fake, fake carbon fiberness. Again, Rugged Armor case. This is definitely one of those cases that I use pretty much on most of my devices. I like the feel of it. It's a nice... Nice TPU feel, feeling case. And of course, in the hand, super, super grippable. You can see on the side you have this pattern. So very, very grippy case. And of course, the TPU material and the matte, matte type of feel on the back means this is a grippy case. Carbon fiber look is always a, always a crowd pleaser in my opinion. A little Spigen logo right on top of that carbon fiber. Now since we're on the back, let's take a look at that camera protection. So your camera protection is on point as well. And you can see the little design cue as well for that air cushion technology on all the four corners. Just giving you a little bit extra, little bit extra corner protection if you happen to drop it. Volume up and down buttons, a little bit of separation. Definitely like that separation there. Cutouts are all perfect. Now if we take a look at the front lip protection, as I give you the 360 bird's eye tour, again, you get a little bit of lip protection and I am using this with a screen protector and so far all of these cases are working really nicely. You can see there's just a little bit of separation between the glass and the case, and that's what you want when you pick up a screen protector. But sometimes you get a little surprise and case manufacturers don't really allow for screen protectors to work. Now if you take a look at the front, you also have some design cues, kind of like a little cutout on all those four corners. Just kind of gives this a little bit of a, a, little bit of a unique design in my opinion. 
but it's all about the feel since every time you pick up your phone you're going to feel whatever case you have on it and i think this is a nice feeling case taking a look at the snugness no problems once again super super snug so the rugged armor definitely is looking nice to me let me know what you think about this one now let's check out magsafe compatibility no problems with magsafe compatibility and wireless charging working no problems with wireless charging so definitely a plus with the rugged armor case i think i'm going to keep this one for right now but let's keep moving guys now we got a liquid air this is another case from spigen so let's check out this liquid air case taking a look at the inside this is the classic spigen basketball web for that shock absorption this spigen authenticity and on the inside as well you can see that air cushion technology branding and it's all all in all four corners a little bit extra a little bit extra for that air cushion you can see that cut out there so nice job spigen when it comes to giving us some air cushion technology and of course this is a flexible case flexible tpu so it is on the thinner side just like the rugged armor is installation you'd expect super super easy taking a look at the side of the case little spigen logo right there as well as a nice little pattern for grippability and on the other side as well you get that pattern for grippability and the buttons of course feel really nice little separation between the volume up and the volume down snugness no problems all these cases are super super snug this is spigen after all and taking a look at that back camera protection because you definitely want the camera to be protected you get a nice amount of camera protection so no matter which way you put your phone down on the table whether it's face up or face down let me know if you like it face up or face down you're definitely going to protect your case and feels really nice with this pattern on the back as well for sure let's check out magsafe compatibility not really magsafe compatible this is not working with magsafe compatibility -ness. but wireless charging is working so no problems with wireless charging it's just not magsafe compatible so let me know what you think about this case guys what do you think about it again it's a more more minimalist type of case but tpu cases always feel really nice and definitely has a nice pattern on the back so it is it is definitely grippable snugness no problems with the snugness whatsoever the next case we're going to take a look at is the mag armor and it says mag fit designed for mag safe we're going to test that out as well even if it doesn't say mag safe compatibility i always like to test it out and you can see that magnet for iphone that's what they say on, on the back there once again air cushion technology and it is a flexible tpu case exactly the same type of case if you ask me just once again they're putting this magnet for MagSafe compatibility in this. Otherwise, it looks to be exactly the same case. Let's go ahead and pop in my iPhone here. Now on the front, you get that same, same front lip protection as I give you the 360 bird's eye tour. And it is more of a smooth type of matte feel to this case. And on the back, you have a nice pattern there. So it definitely looks nice. I think this is a nice looking case. And checking out the camera protection, no problems with that camera protection or the cutouts all of these cutouts are perfect separation between the volume up and volume down and magsafe is definitely going to work no problems with magsafe on this case wireless charging wireless charging is working so so far just about every case is working with wireless charging snugness super super snug no problems nice feeling case next case we're going to take a look at is silicone fit and this is mag fit compatible so let's just go ahead and take a look at it looking at this case on the inside you get a nice nice soft felt type of material so that's something a little bit different we haven't seen this on any other spigen case right now that i've been reviewing but it is still semi-flexible you can see that there and there's the magnet for that mag safe as i bend it you can kind of see the circular cut out there and yeah this definitely feels like silicone if you have one of those silicone drain protectors or you have a silicone silicone pot handle that's what this is going to feel like i actually quite like it i think this feels really really nice in the hand and if we check out the front lip protection as i gave you the 360 bird's eye tour you're getting a nice amount of lip protection for sure again all of these cases so far have not been super super heavy duty cases in my opinion the front lip protection though should protect your phone from getting scratched up if you lay it flat on the table there's your button little separation between the volume up and volume down taking a look at the back camera protection definitely on point with that camera protection for a thin form-fitting type of case you get a nice amount of camera protection now of course mag safe compatibility mag fit means that your mag accessories are going to work and of course wireless charging is going to work on this as well no problems with wireless charging 
So far out of all these cases, I'm, I'm really liking the feel of the silicone case. It just feels really, really nice. So well done Spigen. I think you did a nice job with the silicone case, but it's all about the snugness. And it is kind of popping off on that bottom right, right corner, just a little bit. And on the bottom left corner, maybe because it's silicone, it's just not as snug. Just a little bit, but not too concerning guys. I wouldn't be too concerned. You're not really applying all this much pressure like I am on everyday daily usage. But this is the one spigging case that the bottom is kind of falling off. All right, just want to let you guys know. Now we're going to take a look at some cases that are designed to showcase the beautiful design of your iPhone, whichever color you picked up. And let me know down in the comments below which color you picked up because the Ultra Hybrid is going to help showcase that beautiful design. So let's take a look at the Hybrid. Actually, guys, I forgot. I picked up the Frosted Edition of the Ultra Hybrid, but I do have some clear cases that I'm going to show you. But this is still going to still going to give you a little bit of a little bit of a see-through design for that for that iPhone 14 ness And on the inside, little air cushion technology as usual. Air is all around us, so all of these cases have nice air cushion technology. But you can see that little cutout there, kind of giving you an air pocket. So let's go ahead and install this one and see what it looks like. I actually like a frosted design, not super, super clear. And yeah, so far, I think I did the right choice getting a frosted. This looks really nice. Take a look at this frosted one. And there are different, there are different versions of this, of this ultra hybrid as well. So if you don't want frosted, just, just click on my link and check out which ones they have available. So taking a look at the front lip protection. As I give you the 360 bird's eye tour, again, about the same amount of front lip protection on all of these spigging cases. It is a minimalist case. All your cutouts, of course, are all perfect. Buttons feel really nice. And on the sides, really, really grippy. And on the back, feels super nice as well. Separation, volume up and volume down. Here's your camera protection. So once again, keep in mind, this is a thin-ish thin, thin -ish type of case. But you are, getting, you are getting enough camera protection. So laying your phone with the camera down, you're not gonna, you're not gonna scratch up those camera lenses. And you can see that nice Apple logo. And I'm liking the two-tone look of this case as well. You can see that you have more of a, more of like a darker matte black on, on the outside. And then you just have this frosted look. So I think this is actually a really nice looking case. Let me know what you think about the two-toned frostedness. Super, super nice. MagSafe, not really. Not really gonna, not really gonna keep your MagSafe accessories. But I'm pretty sure wireless charging is gonna work. So let's just check out wireless charging. Yep, wireless charging is working. And finally for the snug test, the snugness test, all four corners, super, super snug. So I'm liking this frosted look. Let me know what you think about the frosted look. The next case we're gonna take a look at is the ultra hybrid, but this is the non-frosted edition. So if you like that two-toned look, but you didn't like the frosted look and you wanted, a, you wanted a clear, clear back, this is the case that I would recommend for you. Once again, I do like, I do like the two-toned black on the side, the matte black, and then the, and then the clear back as well. I think it's just a nice, nice overall design choice. Thank you Spigen for those pull tabs. This is the clear unfrosted look, and I quite like the frosted look a little bit better, I think because I have the space black iPhone. But this is a nice choice if you want to just showcase the, the back of your iPhone 14 Pro there. And speaking of the back, there's that camera protection. And on the front, same camera protection as I give you the 360 bird's eye tour. So basically the same case, just with a clear back. Let me know what you think about this one. And if we take a look, snug, 100% for sure, as I'm calling Geico. Snug fit, I don't need to call Geico. So once again, clear versus the frosted. Just a, two little options for you guys. This is the Ultra Hybrid, MagSafe compatible. You can see the ring right there. So let's just go ahead and, and prepare my phone for this Ultra Hybrid case. And of course, easy pull tabs. Thank you Spigen for these easy pull tabs. Now what I like about this Ultra Hybrid here is I actually got this one with a little bit of a, little bit of a carbon fiber design in it. And you can, you can change up the ring. So they have different styles for that ring. So I just wanna show you, this is the carbon fiber one. I think that looks really, really cool. And of course, you see that little cutout, that little pocket for air cushion technology on all the four corners there. So hopefully we don't get any smudges on the back of my phone so I can just show it to you. 
and see what it looks like. This is it guys, ultra hybrid, carbon fiber, and I'm liking that carbon fiber ring around the Apple logo. It's all about the protection on this minimalist thin type of case. As I give you the 360 bird's eye tour, again, decent amount of lip protection. No problems, you're not gonna scratch up your screen. There's a little Spigen logo right there. Volume up and down, separated. Cutouts, all perfect. Buttons feel really nice. It's not a slippery case at all. This definitely feels, feels like a grippy material. It's not, it's not slipping out of my hand, so I like that. And the camera protection I also like. Decent amount of camera protection. You can see that there as I give you the reverse bird's eye tour. Super, super nice looking. I think this is a nice case to just showcase your beautiful iPhone design. And for the snug test, super snug. So the only one that didn't pass the snug test was that silicone case. All these other cases, super, super snug, no doubt about it. And you can actually see the air pocket cushions on the four corners. Just kind of giving you a little bit more assurance that you have a little air there on that corner to help, help your phone pop back up if it happens to fall. And the carbon fiber ring looks super nice as well. So I have no doubt when you connect a MagSafe compatible device, it's gonna, it's gonna stay stuck to this case. And of course, wireless charging is gonna work. No problems with wireless charging. So that's the ultra hybrid once again. Which one do you prefer so far, frosted or super clear? I'm kind of leaning towards Actually, I don't know which one I'm leading towards, guys, but it's time to check out another clear case anyway. This is an ultra hybrid, not MagSafe compatible, and it's just a clear case without any, without any of the ring design. Maybe some of you don't like that ring design. This would be a case that I'd recommend, ultra hybrid, just simple, simple clear looking case. Thanks again, Spigen, for these easy pull tabs. Taking a look at the ultra hybrid, ultra clear, pretty much the same front lip protection, guys. You're getting that same front lip protection. And so far, I'm really happy to say all these cases are working super nicely with my screen protector. And on the back, here's a camera protection. On the smaller side of camera protection, but a raised camera protectiveness is a raised camera protectiveness. So it's gonna keep your cameras protected when you lay it flat on a table. Definitely a super nice design. If you like that clear, clear look. So this is what it's gonna look like, guys. Super clearness, MagSafe. Not really compatible. We're gonna check out wireless charging. Wireless charging works without any problem. And I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a snug case. Super, super snug. No problems with the snugness. So that's the ultra hybrid. Nice looking case. Taking a look at the last clear case that we have here. This is the ultra hybrid S with a built-in kickstand. And I always like kickstands because well, who doesn't wanna watch, watch multimedia on the go without having to hold your phone? So that's why I like the tough armor, and I also like this, this little kickstand here. But this is definitely a stronger kickstand, 100% for sure. If I bring back the, the tough armor, you can see this is a little bit on the flimsy side. It's just a plastic kickstand. Nothing super special about it, but it does, it does go in flush with the case, which is definitely a benefit to this case. But with the Ultra Hybrid S, this is a metal kickstand, no doubt about it. This is a heavy duty gangster type of kickstand. So for those of you that want a little bit more sturdiness, I'm gonna call it, but of course you are gonna give up the, the flush type of feel to a case. This is, this is definitely a bulge that's gonna be in your pocket. And we don't wanna have too many bulges in our pocket. That just might stick you at the end. Let's just go ahead and, and kind of remove these tabs once again. Super, super clear case. I like clear cases from time to time personally. Now taking a look at the front lip protection again. Typical Spigen fashion, this is, this is enough lip protection for those moments when you lay your phone flat on a table. So 360 bird's eye tour is gonna show you decent amount of lip protection. And once again, screen protector friendly. You can see those air pockets on all the four corners as well as that Spigen, Spigen logo. Cutouts are all perfect, no problems with these cutouts. And of course, buttons on all these Spigen cases, no problems with all of these buttons. And on the back, camera protection, so no worries about that. But this case is all about showcasing your beautiful iPhone 14 Pro here. No matter what color you got, you're gonna be able to see it through this case. And the kickstand, definitely a gangster, heavy duty type of kickstand. This is no joke and gonna really withstand a lot of pressure. So if you're typing like a maniac, if you're that keyboard warrior and you're just typing back and forth, this is gonna keep your phone up, no problems with that. But of course you are losing that flushness with the case. You can see that. It's definitely protruding just a little bit, actually a little bit more than a little bit. So if you lay your phone flat on the table, 
it is what it is. If you like a kickstand, if a kickstand's number one top priority, as well as showcasing your beautiful iPhone 14 Pro, this is a case that I would recommend. Again, really grippy. No problems with the grips on these cases. So far, so far, none of these cases have been slippery in my opinion. None of these cases feel like they'd slip out of your hands. Just a nice, nice well-designed case from Spigen. Definitely no doubt about that. And if we check out the snugness, no problems with the snugness. Super, super snug. And MagSafe is probably not gonna work with this because of, because of that gangster kickstand. But you should still be able to get wireless charging. And yep, wireless charging is still gonna work. Now finally, the last case we're gonna take a look at from Spigen is the Slim Armor CS. And this is gonna be a case for those of you that, 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 that wanna leave your wallet at home. Maybe you just wanna put a couple credit cards in here and you just wanna put in your ID. This is gonna be a case that I recommend for you guys. Once again, this is the authentic Spigen basketball web of authenticityness, And you have the air cushion technology on all the four corners there. Flexible case, but you do have this kind of removable back plate for your credit cards. You just snap it right back in there, guys. No problems with that. So let's kind of take a look at this case together. Installation, no problems with installation. So taking a look at the front lip protection, guys, I give you the 360 bird's eye tour. Again, about the same amount, say it with me, same amount of lip protection on all these Spigen cases. I haven't personally noticed a huge difference between any of the front lip protection, but it is raised enough on all these cases, so you're not gonna scratch up that screen. And on the back, Here's your camera protection. Nice amount of camera protection. Definitely a, a medium type of duty case if you ask me. Now you have this design on the top. Vertical lines on the top just to give it a little, little bit of flair. And the Spigen logo is right on the back there. But number one about this case is the ability to put in about two cards. So I have two cards here. You can snap away two cards. Taking a look at the case, of course you have that TPU in this hard plastic. And on the top, it kind of just feels a little coarse. Doesn't feel too bad. Again, not slippery. I think this is a nice case, but it's all about, it's all about this pocket here. So when you go out, guys, you can put in your ID and one credit card. So you don't have to carry a wallet. You can just take the, your phone with you, pay with your phone, show your ID, all that good stuff. And the snugness, super snug. No problems with the snugness. Now MagSafe is not gonna work. Wireless charging is not gonna work thanks to this cutout. But I think it's a nice case for those of you that want to keep things minimal in your pocket. Take a look at that. Nice amount of separation between the volume up and volume down as well. This has been a look at some Spigen cases for your iPhone 14 Pro. Let me know which one you think is your favorite down in the comments below. If you have any questions about them, let me know down there as well. But I always appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to subscribe, thumbs up, and wait for my latest videos. I got some more reviews coming up for the iPhone 14 Pro here. Thanks for watching once again. Catch you in another video.